Part two, nephron model. So here we're going to look at B, which refers to the furthest right on this plaque model, the greatly enlarged portion of kidney. We'll start with number 16, which is here. This is the interlobular artery. It's the red blood vessel. And coming from this is number 17, the smaller red blood vessel, the afferent arterial, number 17. It goes to number 18, the glomerulus, right here, 18, the glomerulus, which looks sort of like a knot. 19 denotes this and this. It is the capsule of the glomerulus, the glomerular capsule, this white layer, 19, and the neck here and here of the proximal convoluted tubule because they're continuous. Now number 20 refers to the proximal convoluted tubule here, or PCT for short, and this is proximal to the glomerulus. And number 23 is here. This refers to the distal convoluted tubule. So distal because it's distal from the glomerulus. Number 25 refers to this, which is the thick limb of the ascending, or the thick wall of the ascending limb of the nephron loop here. This would be your thin wall, but it's not numbered. Number 26 is here. This is the, your collecting, du uh, collecting tubule. Number 27 refers to the descending limb, the thin wall of the descending limb of the nephron loop right here. This would have been your thick. Number 28 is shown here. It was formerly labeled as 28A, but in our packet it's 28. This is your minor calyx, and you can refer to the other models for um, a look at calyces. And if we go back up here, the blood vessel which leaves the glomerulus is efferent. It's 28B, the efferent arterial, right here. And now, if we if we look at this to simplify it, we'll do that. To simplify it, we can look at these in order. Um, Miss Wright suggests so that you don't confuse these white features um, to trace it with your finger while you're taking your quiz if you have trouble. So from the glomerulus, and remember 18 is your glomerulus, 19 refers to the, glom uh, the glomerular capsule and the neck of the proximal convoluted tubule, the PCT, they're continuous. We follow that directly into the proximal convoluted tubule which is number 20, shown here. And that leads to your descending limb of the nephron loop. And here you see your thick and thin regions. If we follow this up, we reach 25, which is the ascending limb of the nephron loop. Here is your thick region of the ascending limb, and here would be your thin. And that leads to number 23, which is your distal convoluted tubule. Distal, again, because it's distal or far from the glomerulus. And that reaches your collecting tube, number 26, your collecting tubule. And um, another feature that we're responsible for that isn't labeled by a number here, but um, we need to know from the packet, is the peritubular capillaries. Remember, capillaries are small blood vessels. So that refers to these here, which is um, a network of capillaries around the tubules, peri meaning around here, here, and here, peritubular capillaries.